Hi, I'm Sam. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made these shark nails using reverse stamping. First, we're going in with Maniology Shark Bait, and I'm going to paint all five nails with this color. I did all five nails, but I just show the one here. And then we're going in with Maniology Cherry Bomb to stamp this surfboard. I'm going to scrape that at a 45 degree angle and then roll the stamper over to pick up the image. I'm going to color this in with Maniology Bam White. Usually I use eyeliner brushes, um, but I actually ended up just painting this with the bottle brush um, because the image is so large. This actually turned out to be kind of a fail based on how thin the cherry bomb color is. Um, and you'll see that later. I'll show you what ended up happening with this. So then I cover it up and I'm going to move on to the index and ring finger. I'm taking Maniology Straight Up Black and stamping these hammerhead sharks onto those nails. So I scrape it again. As you see, there is a little bit of black still on there. Sometimes that's fine. In this case, it did get on the stamper, um, but the nail is narrow enough that it didn't really matter, so I didn't re-stamp it. Since this image is too small for the nail, I'm actually going to go back, uh, stamp it again, and fill in that space. Then I'm going to take the rest of that second stamp, put it on the ring fingernail, and then I'll stamp again. Right here, I'm just filling in some blank space at the top. And then I finish that off camera. Now I'm going to use the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat and top coat that. Um, this is just great to make sure that I'm not gonna get any streakiness from the design. And then I go over with INM Out The Door, which is my favorite quick dry top coat. And I'm just coating the whole nail with that and that nail is done. Um, so like I said before, this is the ring finger and index finger. Uh, so that's what we're at so far. And then we're gonna go back to that surfboard. So I'm taking sticky base coat and I'm going to put that on that thumbnail. Um, and we're just gonna let it dry until it's just a little tacky so we can put down that dry stamp. So this is where I kind of failed. Um, the edges are very transparent, so it's not uniform. I didn't do great around the bite. It's just not, not great, not up to my standards, but I just left it the way it was since it wasn't for a client or anything. Next, I'm going to work on the middle finger and I'm going to scrape and stamp this sort of bubbly design here. I attempted to stretch this over the nail and you'll see that here I just start at the end and sort of stretch over but the stamper actually popped um, and I wasn't able to get the whole nail so I did go back and fill in the space for this nail we're going to take this little shark guy and with the straight up black we're going to scrape that roll the stamper over and I actually like to use the scraper to clean up any excess as long as you're quick it's super easy to do then I'm filling in his mouth with cherry bomb it's always a good idea to flip over your stamp to make sure you have filled everything in and then I went in with BAM white for the teeth since I had transparency issues with that cherry bomb I am trying to avoid overlapping too much I just don't want it to look weird um, like that surfboard did. Then I had to actually mix the gray color for the shark. So I'm mixing Bam White and straight up black to get a gray that I like. And then we'll fill in his body there. I don't know why it's a he. I just decided that. So now we'll check to make sure he's all done. And then we will cover that up and wait for it to dry again. And we'll move on to the pinky nail. So I went with this sort of swishy water look, um, water foam. I'm not really sure what this stamp is, but um, I grabbed that with Bam White so we can repeat similar to what we did on the other nail. This one I was actually able to stretch over. I know I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't have tried again because um, this stamper snapped on me before, but it did work this time. Um, and I straightened out the edges with my finger 
which is easy on tips, not as easy on a person. Then I went to go over the other nail with the sticky base coat and realized it was streaking. So I did go over both of these nails with the smudge free top coat. And then I'm going to wait for those to dry um, while I stamp the other reverse stamp. So this one is the one for the pinky. It's a shark. It says bite me. Again, I'm removing the excess with the scraper and then I'm coloring in the words with cherry bomb and mixing that gray again to fill in the shark image. We'll cover that right on up and then we'll put on the sticky base coat um, and get these stamped on. So again, we are just waiting till that sticky base coat is just tacky. Um, as I stamped this one on, I actually had to hold it onto the stand because it wanted to come off while I was stamping, but it actually ended up coming out okay. So not a big deal. Here he is. And then we're putting the bite me on the pinky. There that is. And then we're all done. So this is the finished set. I really hope you like it. Um, if you do, please like this video and please consider subscribing. Um, I really like making this content. It's new for me. Um, so support me if you'd like to. Thank you.